Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be an unboxing from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box. And I made an order for them for my new uh, three rats. As well as Gracie, uh, my chinchilla. Gracie is going to get a new cage soon, so I thought that I might as well make an order and spruce up her new cage. I haven't gotten it yet, but I've been starting to collect things for it to make her cage exciting. And I will do a video on that. Um, probably next week when I actually get it. Um, so I just removed my address and stuff from the box. So it's just a plain old box and it did come very like disformed. Um, so it did take a while for her to send the box just because she is teaching in Oshawa. Um, where usually Rachel lives in Kingston which is just a few hours away from my house. Um, so I'm going to stop my rambling now and get opening to the box. This is what you see when you open the box. And here is my invoice. I'm going to start with the little package. It's a little thank you for your order package. And this has her business card if you want to go check her out. If it's going to... There we go. <laughs> so it comes with her business card and a magnet. And inside this little bag... has a little yellow bagel bite chew and a little ball, a little willow ball. So in the box, I got four of these willow munch balls, two centimeter munch balls, which were $1.40 for four of them. The second thing I got was this unpeeled willow candy cane, and I didn't get it for um, a Christmas theme, I got it for just for Gracie because she really likes unpeeled willow and I thought that it was a good deal to get a big candy cane. I also got a meter of this palm, sh palm shredder which I can make toys out of and it is a meter long for $1.25 which I thought was pretty good. I also got four of these seven centimeter munch balls and these were $4.00 so a dollar each and I like how they have holes in them I could put like treats or hay in them for Gracie I think she'd really enjoy those I also got two of these uh, bird toys um, these are called the crinkle paper vine toys and I got these for the rats um, they were seven dollars for two of them and they have willow balls on them, um, the same, uh, the, the palm shredders, um, some paper stuffed in the, the vine balls, some pine um, popsicle sticks in different colors, as you can see, with little wooden beads, and a little metal bell, which I thought is really cute, and I think the rats would really enjoy that. And the last thing was this flower garland. I got this for $11.50, which I think is really a really good deal for this large garland. So it has um, palm leaf flowers, it has bamboo crunchers, wooden beads, um, some coconut string, some vine lanterns, a 4 centimeter vine ball, wooden beads, and on the bottom is her sunflower vines, I think that's what they're called. So I think either the rats or Gracie is going to really enjoy that. So I got all of these items at Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box for around $30, which I think is a great deal. So if you live in Canada or if you live in 
actually she ships internationally so if you are looking for some toy parts or some high quality handmade toys I would suggest checking out Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, emailing Rachel at zoelilostoybox at hotmail.com and visit her Facebook page, Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box. That concludes this little haul unboxing. And now I'm going to show you what I got, what I made for Gracie. So I made Gracie quite a few items for her new cage. And um, I'm going to show you them right now. So I made her this large... Um, it's kind of like a bunk bed hammock, but I made it different than I usually do, and it's huge. And I made it out of this cute cat fabric. Um, I was really, I didn't really want to make anything out of this cat fabric. Um, I was going to make stuff for the rats out of this, but the rats really like to chew on their items, and I really didn't want that with this really cute pattern. Um, as you can see, little kitties on it. Um, so since Gracie doesn't chew her fabric, I decided to make things out of out of this fabric for her. Um, plus it matches all of her cage liners, so um, I made this large bunk bed hammock or double decker hammock. I also made this flat hammock. It's quite a it's quite small, but I think she'd like to use it as a um, some to jump off of or jump into. So there's a little flat hammock as well. And I also made this little pillow for her. Um, as some of you may know, uh, single chinchillas really like to cuddle with pillows um, if they don't have a buddy to cuddle with. And since Gracie is 11 years old and lived her whole life without a buddy, I decided to make her a large pillow to snuggle with and I think she'd really enjoy that. And last but not least, I made her two drip bottle pads, as you can see. Um, it has U-Haul inside of it, so it, it, it's very absorbable. Um, in her cage right now, um, she has a wire bottom floor where the, bo where the bottle is. Uh, so it just drips to there, and instead, with her new cage, it won't have that. So I made some bottle pads some drip pads that absorb it since chinchillas can't get wet. I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> so there's all the fabric things I made for her. The next thing I got her was this little tiny fan. As you can see, it's like this as my hand. Um, as some of you may know, chinchillas can't, or chinchillas overheat very easily and I don't have my air conditioner in right now. So I have to resort to using a little fan for her and she sleeps right on this level so it's like perfect for her um, I also added a tile to her cage her cage is always very messy and there is a chinchilla in her house to keep her cool and she really enjoys that so yeah <laughs> and I will make a video when I get her new cage so please subscribe to see when that comes out and if you like this video please subscribe please like and please comment and be sure to check out Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, and I will see you next time. Bye!